What's up everybody, it's Josh with Market Movers Academy. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be explaining the trade I took on Dow Jones this morning. Um, I was I took one loss, but I was overall profitable for the day. There was also no news today, so I was relying solely on technical analysis and what the chart was displaying. So it made it a little bit difficult, but let me just jump right into it. So starting on the daily time frame, we always look at the daily time frame to find the bias of the market. As you can see, we're in a huge downtrend, right? So initially, uh, the closest demand level for the morning was right here around 29,170. So uh, watch, let's go down to the one hour time frame. Leading up to the trade that I took, not much was going on in the market. As you can see, we have like a 24 hour consolidation period right here. And then, you know, we snapped a little bit under the lows, uh, I'd say close to like halfway through New York session this morning. So there wasn't much going on on the higher time frames, so I had to go to my scalping strategy. Still essentially the same as a simple sniper strategy, just on the lower time frames. The only difference is, is um, the zones, they get created in real time, and we can't exactly look to the past to, you know, predict it. We just kind of have to go with the flow of the market. That's why it's always risky when you're uh, scalping. So first things first, uh, let's go over the loss that I took. So when price was uh, reaching my first demand level, I noticed that we had a bearish pin bar right here on the one minute time frame, followed by a bullish Harami candle and then an explosion up uh, to the upside, but it got cut up at this order block right here. So, you know, I entered the buy somewhere right here with my stop loss, maybe like five, 10 points below, uh, the doji candle and then overall i got stopped out but it was just a small loss i think i lost like 700 dollars and then um after price was done manipulating everybody it came back up to that same zone and then we saw that big spike in volatility so you know as price was going up uh i was noticing a trend line forming so let's go ahead and mark that off can start right there and just drag it over so I noticed this trend line forming and uh, we got some bearish pressure in right here and then we got caught up at that initial demand level again so when we went up I saw liquidity being formed right here there were a lot of sell orders being placed in this zone as you can see and then all we did was we hit their stop losses we hit the trend line up here but um, that wasn't my confirmation for the entry. It was this order block to the left right here. I got my entry in somewhere around 29,245 around there. And then uh, my take profit was down here at the demand level. So my take profit got hit. I made back all of my losses for the morning. And um, I even made 900 bucks profit. So it wasn't too, too bad, especially for a really slow Monday. But uh, if I would have kept going, this would have been pretty easy to trade through. So let's go ahead and extend the trend line. All right, so looking at this, it may seem a little confusing, but uh, you know, we came up to the trend line for the third time, and then what happened? We got this nice double top pattern. You could have even gone to the three minute time frame for this one. It would have been a little bit cleaner. So uh, we have first touch, second touch, and then right as we come up for the third, you can see a double top forming in the candlestick body. So let's go ahead and mark that off. And this is what I was talking about when the market creates new zones when you're scalping. So, you know, on the lower time frames, this comes kind of unexpectedly. So you just kind of had to really pay attention to the market. So as you can see, there's a double uh, top rejection pattern right here. You could have easily gotten in on the short uh, as soon as this candle retested that zone. Then you would have been in profit all the way down to demand. And then, you know, same exact thing now that price is at demand. Yes, we manipulated it a bit, but if you pay attention to the candlesticks, 
you can see we got that bullish impulse from the demand level. We came down for a sloppy retest, and then we have a bullish Harami candle right here, or a doji, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, we retested that line or the uh, demand level again in this wick. You could have gotten an easy buy all the way up to the trend line again. It was really, really simple. Let's go ahead and delete that. And then, you know, as you get up to the trend line, the market movers really decided to trick people. You know, we have a doji under the trend line followed by a bearish impulse to the downside. And then that immediately got corrected with the next candle. So all of these uh, sellers right here, they got stopped out. And then the market took into effect. As soon as it broke below these lows, it obviously attracted sellers. The late sellers obviously got stopped out with this next candle and then the market overall consolidated and then it formed a new level of demand right here. So, I mean, you could have gotten in on a buy. It would have been a little bit risky, but the odds of it were pretty good, especially because we have this uh, liquidity pool right here. So let's go down to the one minute time frame again. All right, as you can see, we have multiple rejections to the downside from this zone and then you know we kind of consolidated at the bottom a little bit and as soon as we go back up uh, we get another rejection to the downside so that obviously brought in a lot of selling pressure and then all of these people got stopped out so everyone's stop loss above this zone was hit and it came up to the uh, trend line right here but if you wanted a sniper entry, all you had to do is just look to the uh, previous high right here, mark off the body of the candlestick right there, and you could have gotten your sniper entry in on the sell. You would have been holding it down to demand or below. But uh, yeah, that's how I would have attacked the markets. But since there wasn't really any news today, I just decided to kind of take a chill day. I didn't really want to glue my eyes to the charts because market moved slow overall and scalping is very risky. I do not recommend it unless you have your strategy, you know, down packed, you know, it like the back of your hand. Cause uh, yeah, if you're not prepared for this, you will get stopped out. I mean, there was manipulation on literally every move. So uh, yeah, make sure you know what you're doing before you do something risky like this. But uh, looking forward on the daily time frame, I'm still seeing a lot of bearish pressure. I mean, the new daily candle just started, but you know, every candlestick prior to that has been bearish. Although we are approaching demand levels, we still kind of have a little bit, a uh, little bit of a ways to go. So let's go ahead and dissect price action real quick. Right here, I mean, there was an ugly double top right here, but there were stop losses obviously above this zone because, you know, retail traders caught the retest, they sent it down, and then when price uh, came all the way back up, it broke above, and then we used the previous highs as new demand. So let's go ahead and mark that off. Yep, there's the previous high. We wicked off of it, and that's what started that explosive uh, upside movement. So that is my next point of interest. Maybe tomorrow with the news release, we can, you know, kind of fumble into that zone. But until then, I'm going to stay away from the charts and I would advise you guys to do so as well. If you want to learn how to do this for yourself, there will be a link to the Discord and a link to my course in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Peace.